Hey, what's up? The other day, Nico, a bunch of friends and I, were shooting in a studio for a little music video we're creating for his Instagram page. And basically, as it goes, his song is around three minutes long, but because it's going on Instagram and we don't want it to become an IGTV video, we needed to make the song less than 60 seconds, which means we're gonna have to cut the song short. And luckily for me, there's a really helpful technique you can use to cut your song anywhere you like. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we start, I'm going to go quickly grab a cup of coffee. It's always nice to have a song end properly instead of just fading it out because that way you'll feel like the whole video comes together very nicely and makes the audience feel much happier in comparison to if the song just faded out. It would feel very incomplete if that happened. So there's two ways of doing this, making sure that the song doesn't just end randomly. The first one is to take a chunk out of the end of the song, so using that natural end piece, and then bringing it forward and finding a place to cut on beat so that the song just keeps going. No one really notices that you've cut between the song, but you make the song a lot shorter because basically you bring the end piece forward. You know, the typical way of doing it. I've talked about this in a couple previous videos, but the problem with this is you're not always going to be able to find that perfect beat where you can cut. You're not always going to be able to fit that into the exact time frame that you want. So say for example, you wanted to end it right at 60 seconds, but you couldn't find the right beat unless you were to make the video 62 seconds long. And in our case, that wouldn't really work well because otherwise that would become an IGTV video and that's just not what we want. So we're gonna have to find another way to cut the song early without making it feel unnatural. So here we go. This is the way I used for this video and it works really well for a lot of other songs Pretty much any song that I've ever, you know, tried this on has worked really well. So yeah, let's hop into Premiere and let's go through this. So basically make a cut roughly two or three seconds from where you want to end the song. And then you just add a low pass effect to the second part. I usually like to bring the low pass down to around 500. And then I'll add a transition to the end of the track to fade out your song. And also want to tie the main part of the track to the end piece with that low pass effect. Then you'll have a nice natural ending to your song. This is not only useful to basically end your video wherever you want, but also if I'm making a film with multiple different tracks, I'm gonna wanna swoop in and out of these tracks. It's super useful to make those transitions a lot smoother. Just basically makes it a lot more natural than if you were just to add one of those default transitions and kind of like gradually fade the music out. This just gives it that extra something to just make it feel a lot more natural to listen to. There's also a good time to mention that this works really well if you're fading into tracks halfway through your film, or if you want to have a little moment where you transition away from the music just to make it a little more dynamic. One example was in my previous video where we see a whole bunch of those slow cinematic shots and then we transition to the sequence where Roz and Henry are putting the film into the camera and getting ready to take a photo. I put a low pass effect on that part of the music and just kind of allowed me to elevate the sound effects of the camera and basically put more emphasis on the camera but also identified to the audience that this part of the film is slightly different from the rest of it and I don't know it just it makes it feel nicer to listen to to watch and it also just changes up the pacing a little bit so just using this low pass effect can not only end your song early but it can also make your films more dynamic especially if you're only using one track throughout your entire film but anyways that's all for me today just a quick tutorial video on something that i would have found super useful if i had figured this out ages ago and i hope it's super useful for you as well so if you liked the video please leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video